So we're here at DSEI, possibly standing uh, in front of the shape of things to come, uh, and I'm here with Paul Jones, who is the uh, lead at Kinetic for this particular system, uh, which is the Dragonfire uh, Laser Weapon Demonstrator. Uh, now, Paul, uh, can you briefly explain what we're looking at here? We're looking at the laser effector of, this is a full-scale model of our demonstration um, prototype, which is actually going to be uh, ready for demonstration in 2019. So that's a very ambitious uh, schedule, really, given that it was the contract was only signed in January? Signed in January, but this is bringing the best of the British technology of Kinetic for the laser source, MBDA for the command and control center and the power supply, and Leonardo who are designing the effector and the sensor systems. So this is existing available technology which has been brought together as a system for the first time to demonstrate the capability of laser weapons. Okay, now what, what would you say is particularly special about the, the British approach to this laser weapon demonstrator, where's, where's, the, uh, where's the ace up the sleeve? The ace up the sleeve is the way that we can coherently combine the laser to actually have effect at a long distance target. And the technique we're using allows it to be scalable. This system is designed for a maritime platform, so it's the size and shape and the ability to target systems at a distance which is available for a system this size. The scalability allows a similar architecture to be used for a land-based platform and also to be an airborne based platform, even to be used on a helicopter based system. Okay now there's also scalability in the actual effects that you can actually get from the system. Can you talk about that? The, the scalability allows a different size of beam to actually be onto a target system. So rather than totally destroying a hostile threat, such as a drone, we can actually just target the sensor. So that prevents the drone coming towards the um, area that you're looking to defend, and you can actually just damage it rather than destroy. And presumably, if you do put it onto a more major warship, you can in fact turn it all the way up and destroy an incoming missile? Yes, and we actually have had experiments that we can actually uh, destroy an incoming mortar in a matter of seconds. So, um, I would imagine that you've got a lot of interest having this uh, displayed for the first time. So, what, what kind of um, servicemen have come along from the, perhaps the Royal Navy and wondered about uh, that when they'll finally see something like this on one of their warships? Well, we've taken existing technology and commercially off self systems, so we're planning on putting it on a maritime platform in the early 2020s and a real active integrated system in the mid-2020s. Paul, thanks very much.